The Gypsies is a monthly women's only event centered around Jiu Jitsu. It's for women to get to know each other absent of ego and uh, learning Jiu Jitsu together is kind of like a family and sisterhood. We host one event every month, always at a different school. It's focused around women's jiu-jitsu, but it's more of a social event to bring together girls who train at different schools. Typically, girls who train at different schools don't have too many female training partners on a regular basis, and then they only see other female practitioners at tournaments or maybe seminars, so they don't really have a lot of non-competitive arenas where they can interact. So our events are focused on growing the community, the women's jiu-jitsu community, and sisterhood idea of it so that they all know each other outside of the tournament arena or um, training like a, a network of friends so they can all lean on each other and help grow the women's community one of the things that I really like the most about the jiu-jitsu uh, gypsy event is that a lot of the girls we know each other and we can interact with each other and talk and you know talk about personal life not just jujitsu itself you know there's other things you would like to get to know people in the uh, personal level as well and uh, you can leave like all that f weird feeling like oh my god we're gonna compete against each other i mean a lot of the girls here have competed with each other you know, we've, we've lost one, we, we won some, you know, so it's like we already know each other from the jiu-jitsu scene and then when you come and you interact with each other, it's like um, in a much more personal level. Teresia Carrion had the original idea. She organized the first event. Starting the women's group was her idea back in 2015. The first one was in February. Um, we were training partners along with Heather Raftery back at Fight Sports Miami. And Heather was the highest belt and she's trained at so many different schools she calls herself Jiu Jitsu Gypsy. So the idea and the original organization came from Teresia um, and the Gypsies are named after Heather. Um, so Heather used to run the original events with Teresia but shortly after the, the events started happening she moved out to California to train under Andre Galval. She's currently black belt out there. Um, and then, so Teresia was running them on her own and then I started helping out a little bit. And then she got pregnant. And then she got really pregnant. Um, so she stopped training and she ended up um, moving away to be near her family and raise the baby and stuff. And so I took over full control of all, running all the events and organizing everything. I started training up in Tampa. So I didn't know about the gypsies until I moved to South Florida and I started training with Olivia. And uh, I came to one of the events and just the atmosphere that this group provides is unheard of. And it's so lovely to have such sisterhood. And I realized after a while that Olivia was just doing it by herself. So I decided to start helping her with marketing and just general support in sorting out the events. We want the, the Gypsies event to be bigger, we want more women to come. We'd like to expand further north into you know, Central Florida and North Florida ideally, but uh, we're just going to let it grow organically and just keep doing what we're doing. So it's good to see that people are, are hearing about it, that the girls are wanting to come and join, you know, not to be so scared because it can be intimidating. Even you're not training with the guys, but just seeing a bunch of girls with higher ranking as well, and you're like a little bit intimidated. It's like you come here and it's like a family. The size of our events have grown over the years, and that's allowed us to do more community service. Like this month's event, we collect food. We collect toys for Toys for Tots. February is our anniversary, that's the biggest event of the year. We always collect uh, women's hygiene and toiletry products to donate to a women's shelter for domestic violence and displaced women. So the more girls that know each other, the stronger the community gets, the more we can attract newer girls to come train and bring them into the sport. And then just recently, as of yesterday, the lovely Jasmine Bienvenue is responsible for all our graphic design and marketing online. Um, she designed a merchandise store, so we're 
We're going to use the proceeds to start a scholarship program. We want to pay for geese and tuition for local girls in South Florida who can't train or wouldn't be able to train so much without assistance to give back to the local community. So hopefully as we grow, then that will also grow. Okay, my name is Kathy Jones. I train at Carson Gracie, Miami on the Buyu. I'm a black, uh, whew, brown belt. <laughs> 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 I'm a brown belt. <laughs> <laughs>